Lord be with you. And with your spirit. I'm reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Then Jesus came with them to this place called Gethsemane. And he said to his disciples, sit here while I go over there and pray. He took along Peter and the two sons of Zebedee and began to feel sorrow and distress. Then he said to them, my soul is sorrowful even to death. Remain here and keep watch with me. He advanced a little and fell prostrate in prayer, saying, My Father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me, yet not as I will, but as you will. When he returned to his disciples, he found them asleep. He said to Peter, so you could not keep watch with me for one hour? Watch and pray that you may not undergo the test. The Lord is willing, the, sorry, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Withdrawing a second time, he prayed again, My Father, if it is not possible that this cup pass without my drinking it, your will be done. Then he returned once more and found them asleep, for they could not keep their eyes open. He left them and withdrew again and prayed a third time, saying the same thing again. Then he returned to his disciples and said to them, Are you still sleeping and taking your rest? Behold, the hour is at hand when the Son of Man is to be handed over to sinners. Rise then, let us go. See, my betrayer is at hand. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. a mystery in the sense in which we speak of the mysteries of faith are at the same time revelations. They are mysteries because they are the revelation of God and this is a mystery that we cannot understand except God himself reveals the mystery to us. And so we see this great gulf between God and man that was made by man, excavated you could say, which no one can cross except Jesus himself. God made man crosses this enormous, this infinite gulf 
between fallen man and God himself. And we see Jesus uh, is the bridge that crosses this gulf. And we see this terrible separation caused by sin all around us and we see it in our own heart. And so we go to the one person who can deliver us from it, who can unite us with the Father once more. And we see Jesus crossing this uh, enormous, infinite gulf. Finally, in his passion and death and resurrection, and then he throws out the uh, the bridge to us in the Holy Spirit, in the sacraments, by leaving us the truth of himself in his words. And so we can cross over, but never losing, please God, because otherwise we would not make the crossing, never losing a sense of the tremendous mystery before whom we worship and the tremendous mystery of his love, for he is love, and of his salvation, which the Son has brought about. We, we do know that the Holy Spirit wants us to have thanksgiving, an immense gratitude, faith and then the gratitude that goes with faith that he has done this for us. And then he wants us to understand the greatness of the mystery, which is so far above our human understanding, the, the fall of man in the beginning I mean, it almost to go back to the beginning in order to understand where God wants to bring us. The fall of man in the beginning was when God had said, do not eat the tree of knowledge. And then man ate the tree. Eve considered the matter. She knew what God had said. She knew what Satan had said. And she chose to trust in her own human thinking. And that is the root of all our sin. And so God, through Christ, not only pays the price of our redemption, but he teaches us this faith, this awe before God. When we, when we know we do not know all the reasons, and, but we bow down before the mystery and we receive the gift and then we give ourselves entirely to God who has given himself to us. And this is what we, this mystery uh, that goes beyond what we could ever know of ourselves. In other words, if we cling to it, we will never uh, challenge what God has revealed. That would be, as it were, to, to make ourselves the bridge. And that would indeed, it is indeed, and it's repeated endlessly when men think they know the way, the truth, and the life, and therefore they fail to find the way or, and the truth and the life. So it, it, it is a good place. You remember on the Mount of the Transfiguration, 
uh, Peter said, it is good for us to be here and it is wonderful to be with the risen Christ, but it is good for us never to leave also that place of Calvary, that place of the suffering, that place of our need of God and then God giving us the fulfillment of our need. If we remain in that place, which is the place of his suffering and death and resurrection, which only he can give, no one else can save us, then we can remain also in the place of the resurrection. And this is the glory of the Mass, that we are at one and the same time in the place of his sacrifice and at the, in, in the presence of God himself, not only outside of us, but receiving him in Holy Communion. This is the gift of God. And we must always, as God is high above us, we must always see this revelation as coming from high above us. So if God has said, then we believe that. We, 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 we should, we must seek to understand what we can for our own uh, nourishment. We can eat the words, but we can't fully understand them. And if we think we have, then we, we are in a sense making ourselves God. And God gives himself to the little ones who humble themselves and adore and live by faith and not by sight. Let, let, let us remain in that place, the place of faith, the place of humility, the place of love. It's the place where God is having gone down on this earth. If we lose the cross, we lose the resurrection. If we lose faith in the resurrection, we lose the cross as well. Because our heart has to give itself to someone. And if we don't give ourselves to God, then we give ourselves to the deceiver. There's the mystery of hell that we must believe because we've been told it. It's part of the word. And we believe in the mystery of heaven. And we believe in the bridge that takes us across. And all these readings today, the three great readings we've heard, they are about this crossing, this redemption.